<laughs> Hello and good evening. My name is John and I'm joined by MPG. And we're here playing Stygian. Stygian? How's he pronounce that? I always I always pronounce it Stygian. Stygian. Reign of the Old Ones as part of my Steam cleaning series with every game in my Steam library eventually and arbitrarily rate and or review them at the week of play time. I don't quite know what the game is. The game came out at random. This game came out in 2000... 18. 19. Very close. All right. Uh, it was released by Cultic Games and Full Crumb with a Q Publishing. And All right. Yeah. 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 And this is an interesting question. There's going to be some Cthulhu. There's going to be yeah, there's a little background. I can't make this. Have, have... Can I make the settings go away? No. Um, there's character inventory, grimoire, map journal, stealth, swap, defend, mm. focus. Okay. So. So it's like a Cthulhu game. I got to be a Cthulhu game. I pick these games out random. Arbitrarily rate and review them. I don't know what this game is. John, Are we making our own character? What is a Cthulhu? A Cthulhu is considered an old one, a deep deep one, a uh, 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 creature of, of insanity render, rendered flesh. Uh huh. If flesh is real. Are we going to make our own and character? Where, where, does, where, where does one find a Cthulhu, typically, if one were to add, want to add them to their friends list? Oh, I don't, I don't know. You don't, you don't know where, where to find a Cthulhu? When I need one? No, there's never a Cthulhu around when I need one. Well, I mean, they're, they're sleeping mm. uh, in, I, I've always pronounced it Relay. Oh. Right, Rylea. Rylea? So, yeah, there's so, it, it's R-Y. Ryloth, I guess, yeah. Yeah, apostrophe L-E-H, I think. Ooh, we get to be a lady or a, we get to be a dame or a gent. I like uh, the dame This is style. a really, the horrors of Stygian does not discriminate based on your character's gender. However, gender is playable some of the events in dialogue open up different role playing. right. I like that. That, you know. Oh, age. Uh, the, this is the age your kid begins begins the game with. Age determines starting number right. actually skill pools. So we can start young, young, young middle aged, or old. Do we want to start old? Default penalty, but I don't know. You you choose. I want to start old. I want to be an old. Like I want to be like an old, like. I want to be all like. What is our when weakness? I was a kid. What is our weakness? <laughs> um, senses. No physique. We're old. Archetype. Okay, we have an academic, profession, overall theme. I really Ooh. like the saying theme as part of it. Yeah, I think we want to be an old performer. I like so, the idea of being like an old vaudeville broad. So I want to make a minor complaint. Um, first off, I love the fact that each each theme has a different color. For the mm -hmm. background, I think that's really smart. Yeah. Um, very clue-like, if you will. My complaint is we've already chosen a gender type. All mm -hmm. the cards should have matched. They should have given us. Yeah. I think yeah. so. Yeah. I think yeah, that would have been a very nice little bit of spit. Sorry, polish. not a complaint, but that's a level of polish because yeah. you look at it and you're like performer is is feminine coded. Yeah. And then aristocrat and nothing else. So of the yeah. four classes, only two are feminine coded. What mm -hmm. is our, what is our, oh, we also get a secondary choice. Wow. Oh, damn, I love this. First bloodline, bankrupt royalty, hitman. I want to be a performer. So I just want to go through some of these, but that's Yeah. Cool. X cop, on hunter, cult detective. Oh, I love this. M Mesmer, performer, actor, movie actor. Oh, I'm both kind of actor. actors, an actor and a movie actor, juggler or busker, military and marine bouncer. Okay, performer. She's an old movie actress. Movie actress, okay. Higher sex appeal, lower addiction threshold. Fuck yes. <laughs> Belief, wow. Belief, humanistic, materialistic, nil nihilistic, right. eccentric, rational, or divine. What is our belief system? Uh, oh, I'm going to say... We we're yeah. we're gonna be hedonistic, I think, because we're an actress, right? Like and we're, we're a Hollywood out. actress. We're used to we're used Where to was hedonist materialistic. Oh, I thought materialistic. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so extra standing being gained by selecting materialistic desire, trust of the material gain and act through sacks of self. So this character creator is putting stats at the end. I'm guessing. 
Mm -hmm. And I like that because we are making choices about who we are before we make choices about yeah. how we are. I don't know if I'm right. saying that right, but like I, I, I agree 100 percent because yes, when you throw me into a character creator and you're just like, how many points of you Frank. know, yeah. Uh, yeah, how how much how much intestinal fortitude yeah. does your character have? You're just like, um, all of it, I guess. I don't know. Like, yeah, fingernail length. <laughs> but like this one is yeah. like, I'm I'm crafting a story. We are a movie actor mm -hmm. who who gets off right. on getting drugs. You know, we are washed up. Yeah. We're older. You know, we're Hollywood we're has pushed old, us out. Washed up. Yeah. And exactly. then we get to the we're stats. No we're like. We know who we are. Let's we've massage got, our stats we've versus got real just, yeah. like whatever happened to Baby Jane going yeah. on for us right now. And yeah, like oh wow, this is this this is getting all of my uh, all of my finger snaps right now. What is our character identity now? Again, minor, minor. Uh -huh. They yeah. should allow you to pick more masculine faces here. It's fine though. Yeah. I kind of like um, Amelia Earhart, but like this one, I think is a very classic. Yeah. They don't have enough old faces. I, I, I like, <laughs> uh, yeah. I feel like the one with the, uh, I think the second one is is where I'm leaning. This one? Yeah. Okay. And what she's is got that a, name? She's got a, like the, I think it's the, like the, the turban. Yeah, yeah. Like the, like the way that like old actresses, Keep you know, her hair they, up, they yeah. Always, yeah, exactly. What is our character identity? What is our name? Uh, Betty. Because we had Betty Davis eyes. Betty Black. <laughs> now we finally get some stats. Yes. So this is reduced for melee and survival. So melee is combat. Presence is a minimum of six because that's our stuff. All right, these are our tag skills. Mm -hmm. Well, speechcraft, <laughs> stealth. All right, where do you want to put some some points here? Uh, let's see. I feel like for for any kind of Cthulhu, all right, we definitely have good willpower. Yeah, we're an actress. That raises our sanity, our spellcraft, presence, and supernatural. Presence power. and will, I think, are the two things that I think physique is. We're really That's low on stat. physique. No we're melee. It's no, yeah. no melee. Agility. I think that you know we could probably put. A couple into agility, but yeah. I feel like will and presence are the two that are like. If I'm thinking about like an act, an old actress, you know, who's used to getting her way, uh, I would say, yeah, max out will and presence, and then have some in agility, and then senses and mind. I feel like, yeah, we're very we're very min max, which is fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, do we do we gun our? Oh, senses is firearms interesting mm. okay do we gun do we like what are, i put one in speech catch level like what are our other skills we have five more points i don't know what yeah. the max is um two okay two is the max all right max yeah. speech craft. all right so i was gonna say i mean i feel like we should have something in a cult because if we're we've got will and presence so well cult is like it's, mind and will yeah yeah. I do like so, that it highlights the relevant stat. Oh, okay. that, that is really helpful. All right, yeah. So what's what's uh, what's will and presence? Nothing. So speechcraft, mind will, physical agility, mind, senses, senses and agility. I I wish there had been more of a even spread on yeah. this. Only pre the you only that presence hits is speechcraft. Yeah, got it. A cult well, and survival we'll to, is will. We'll talk our way out of Cthulhu. Uh, it'll be fine. Um. Mm -hmm. Are we a pickpocket? Oh, do we want to be like a? Do we want to be like one of those actresses that gets caught yeah. with notoriety? Oh yeah, she's always. She well, she she didn't always. I, yeah, I just remember true. she had one where she was very famously uh, picked up for shoplifting. I don't think she's doing that anymore. We're healthy and sane. We're old military. All right. All right. Let's get in it. Yes. Oh, I like these little, these little. Uh, I love it. What are those called? Pulp Fiction novel book covers. Yeah. Yeah. Venturing into attic. Okay. Okay. Oh, how your party spends its free time. We're in this now. Yeah. A year has passed since your encounter with a particular fellow known as the Dismal Mad. When you last met, he instructed Ooh. you. 
from beyond Arkham after the Black Day. Find me. At the time, those words did not mean much to you, but after you would come, to, after, soon after you would come to understand. On what is known as the Black Day, under the shadow of the Awaken, the world you knew vanished, and with it your hopes, future, and loved ones. For reasons unknown, the city of Arkham was separated from the carcass of the Earth. Ooh, that's good phrasing. And exiled oh, wow. in a, another alien sky, a twilight realm between dimensions. All right, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Unlike many others, you survived body and mind mostly intact. Ever since you existed day to day in the gray gloom of the eel house, old eel house, waiting for that enamic man to call. A man whose very existence you are now beginning to question. Till you wake another nice. layer of the nightmare. Until the visit at the old attic. Nice. So I did skip the intro cinema because it started playing automatically. Yeah. I I always always a fan of like oh my gosh I love this. This is I like how they give you a camera saying this is a cine. Yeah. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I, I am I, can't I am say. liking this a lot. Too I am liking this an awful place. lot. I like I like that what they've done is they've kind of like. Yeah, they've they've uh, they've taken they've taken Arkham out of our world just for that extra layer of like, nah, man, like you're 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 kind of on your own here, <laughs> you know, yeah. like um like like the rules are so far gone as to be like. You know, you're, there's no point of you being like, well, I'll just hop a plane to, yeah, you know, yeah. uh, to, to Boston and, you know, and then everything will be fine. <laughs> you know, like, no. Oh, her model even looks, the head on the model actually looks kind of like her character, too. Yeah. That's really Well, good. I think, you know, that's the... Yeah, I I, I I really like this. I like. I mean, they're doing such a good job with. The, it's a good. I like, like it's art. a good cold open. Oh. Yeah, it's a good cold open. I like the art. I like. I like the presentation. Uh, the ambiance is great. Yeah, oh, this game so far. So far, Aces? This game is like, yeah, so far, Aces. No, I, I'm really curious about what, like, party members you get. Like, that, that is yeah. fascinating to me. Yeah, agree. Oh, no. Ah, people are. We're glowing well. brighter. Ah, uh, but it was a dream. Ah. Fifth. Dang it. <laughs> oh. Ever have one of those days? Yeah. That I mean, that's the only thing that I I don't like about the Cthulhu, like the the mythos yeah, yeah. setting is, um, it, you know, it's it's a whole like you can't win. No, there's no You're okay, not going to win this. Get, get the intro yeah. Movie, but. Um, I mean, it is supposed to be the how long can you last versus can you survive, right. I mean, but like, it, you know, who knows with this game? Like, yeah, if I went through this game and like at the end you're doomed, like I'd be okay. Whoa, okay. Take all. Let's see what we got here. Well, we should get dressed. Ladies, tux. Oh, yes. Nice. Ooh. Stylish. No, I don't think we should walk around with that. Laud them. Digs, two hundreds. Oh, it's the current. That's money. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And I was like, dang. That'll get me through a day. Yeah. Actors Guild certificate. Okay. How yes. cocaine? Hey, this it's like the twenties, man. Blank nope. Uh, 
addiction rating low. Oh. Rations, camping supplies, clean water. No, I'm actually quite good at my addiction. Oh, we can put the hat I on. I went to a special. Oh, there we go. I used to sound like an Oki, but then my manager, George, he hit, he hitched me up and now I have this accent and. <laughs> All right, let's head on down. We look so dapper. We do. Booze man. I love it. Barkeep has got to be the person we talk to. I absolutely, I you really, see Marino, really. The manager, bar, manager and bartender of the Old He's been your host for almost a year now, cha charging exclusively in the last of your, char charging and exchange to the last press research. He has a tendency to suck you dry whenever he gets an opportunity. Good morning, Carl Noto. If you can call this a never ending effing twilight morning. What was all that hurly burly upstairs? Bad dreams? Why, yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, can you, you could say that. Can you separate dream from reality anymore? It's nothing that concerns you. Can you separate dream from reality anymore? Can I make a call out here that I love the sign? The cookie is dead, double underscore, only serving <laughs> cans. <laughs> uh, oh, I see. Car Noto is quite the philosopher. I find my own views simpler and more effective. Whether this is a dream or reality or effing inferno, the question is, can you die? You can kick the butt, kick it, which is definitely still the case, my friend. I guess this is real enough, but if you want to give it a shot, I can spare you a pistol. I got one. <laughs> Since you're awake, let's talk about the things you owe me. You were too drunk to pay yesterday. You told me to remind you later, remember? Um, uh, I didn't drink yesterday, Marino. No, this one's our speech craft. I, I always want to go with... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't see any bruises on myself, and if I'm unhurt, I must have paid the bill. Oh, nice. I'm not in the mood for a pissing contest. I'll have your, all your things eventually later. So hold on, character. Okay, we get experience, we get angst. Yes. We got the story, we're seeing negative effects. Oh, so we actually level up on the angst -o meter. I like that. Nice. Uh, we are not sane because we lost sand points from last night. Oh, there's also perks and abilities. Okay. And angst. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, we have spells. Evil eye. Cost three to action wise spell points. And then blood circle. Okay. Like you do. Like you do. Is this guy got a thing to say? Okay, we're walking over to him. Whoa. It's like the, one of the Doctor Who doctors. You see an eccentric middle-aged man completely focused on the dark game. He alone is playing. Exalted exultation all but radius from the odd fellow. Could care for a game of cr cricket? You don't get a chance to play against a world champion every day. He passed you several of his darts. Let's see. Is there a prize? <laughs> Pro oh. Materialistic. We got some points back. That's nice. really good. That they, they did that. Prize? Nothing can come close to the thrill yeah. of darts. Tobacco? Rubbish. But the feeling of the texture of the stem in your hand and the steel point savagely penetrating the board, it's priceless. And the prize? Not enough good, not enough of a good reason to use the word penetrate. You want, you want <laughs> cigarettes? Beat me then. Beat the world champion, you'll have more cigarettes than you ever will want. You, you see, I'm traveling salesman from the Tom Rogers cigarettes. Oh. <laughs> Before I found my true self and became the champion, darn those days. Herschel, go to the main. Go to Boston. Herschel, Herschel, your saver ones are getting lower. We're disappointed, Herschel. Uh, end the game. <laughs> um, no, no, now you're talking. He starts to let the rules of the game. So I don't remember. Was our athletics any good? Our athletics was not good. We're old. No, but we had, we we're did have a point in athletics, I thought. Okay. All right. Then yeah, let's let's give it a sh let's. All right, Joe, give it a go. Oh. <laughs> Did we win? <laughs> oh, there we go. Athletics. Oh. Sort of guess the expressions. Ah, oh, you feel like he's wearing the bits. He starts to talk slowly. Ch 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 cheater. May I have my six now? I didn't. Yeah, may I have my six now? 
Cheater. Um. Uh, don't be a spoil sport. I would. Cheater, 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 cheater. All right. We've driven, we're doing Herschel Matt. We didn't. Oh. Oh, sweet Jesus. Nice. So we took a point of damage. I don't know how much. But we're we also took. now the world dart champion. we we took five points of damage. And we got some sigs. Nice. We got four okay, that's not bad. We didn't cheat. So our character hold on. Our character we had one athletics. Uh huh. And we had two oh, still have to put you better. But then we would have cheated, so yeah. So it feels like we should have done subterfuge. Just if he was going to accuse us of cheating, guess, we might yeah. have well cheated. Either way. Only I had more sigs. Uh, where are we going? These all look like ne'er do wells. Yeah. Sorry, let me check the drone. Do we have something we have to do? Got a go to. Okay, they want us to go to the the go to the. Um, University. Can I fast travel? No. All right. I'm going to right. head to the main plot if that's okay. Yeah, definitely. Um, just just so we don't spend our time avoiding the main plot. Yeah, and then complaining that the game isn't going anywhere. Well, like, I I I I'm gonna get up ahead and like I I really like this world. The fact that people just stand out with the guns yeah. and stuff. Like I I like that this world is so. Well, they, there's there is a there is a reason for it. Like yeah. in 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 another situation, you would be like, "Why is there a guy just hanging out with a gun on the yeah. corner?" And you're like, "No, because your world has literally been sucked into." Tis happening again. Oh, no. Lurking below. Crack open the ground. It will. That was a close one. This must be my lucky day. Story progress experience gained. Okay. Odd looking for last key. Where do you think we go with this key? It's a glass key? Oh wow, this map is bigger than I thought it would be. Yeah. Good. Yeah. No, I'm I'm just like Nice big world. Um, I like that it's basically an adventure game. You know, you've got these kind of, you know, set pieces, these screens, mm -hmm. but it doesn't feel like it. It feels much more substantial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The baby rattle. <laughs> okay, a lot of noise making and stuff. Well, maybe I, I don't should've... know how I don't know how useful a noisemaker would be in like a Cthulhu world. Yeah, that's a good question. You know, like normally the idea is like you don't want the monsters to even know you're there. Well, you could throw it, I guess, right? Well, yeah, if it's like a firework or something. But, you know, if it's just like one of those like, you know, spinning rattler things, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing the bank is a place where you take a key that has zero on it. Maybe. Will they let us in? Okay. <laughs> Just a quick. <laughs> close locked. I still want to like find a party member. That's what I really want to do. Yeah, I want to see if there's other people that we we talk to and interact with. But well, specifically, um, I want to know: are they are they unique party members, mm -hmm. or are yeah. they like rentals? Is it? Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, that's a good question. Okay. 
There appears to be a sarlacc pit in the middle of the bank. Yeah. I got a wrench. Strange to present that Star Street Wakes eagerly destroyed cash counters. The moment you see it, we can speak rapidly and enthusiastically. Hello, madame. How may I assist you? As you can see, this is very the day. It looks like the bloom has finally come to Arkham. I see a little town thrive, don't you think? Uh, what do you think? What are you talking about? This place is wiped out. Oh, don't you? Oh, you don't agree? But we are free to express our opinions, right? That's made the country so and so. His voice says <laughs> abruptly, freeze, but it doesn't even blink. He looks almost like a living statue. Uh, uh, excuse me, sir? Some men are endowed by the creators with certain and uh, certain alienable rights. Let me help you with the transaction, madam. May I see your credentials, please? Sure. I'm not playing your thick game. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's show our actor's guild certificate. He instantly grabs the your hand. Let me see. It says you're a broken mask of self-righteousness. Here are your That's documents, me. madam. I hope they'll aid your game of misery, piss, and cr End dialogue. <laughs> Struggle begins. Okay. Ooh, are we what's your combat system looks like? That is a really good question. Combat basis. We are combating. Um, his doodle is showing. Ah. Uh, um, each turn on your character and enemies move and act in their own rounds. Each action requires certain action points. On the upper left corner, you see your commander help his enemy reload and use an item. Okay. Oh, he ran. Oh. Oh, this is not ideal. Well, that that's the whole thing. It's like in in Cthulhu, you like you don't want to get into fights. No. Right? Like you're an investigator. You're not a But I also think that this is, you know. Um Especially this was not really well, like, this wasn't entirely telegraphed that, like, oh, you know. Okay, well, I think we should flee. I, right? I would be inclined to agree, yeah. <laughs> oh, we got inks for fleeing. Well, that's fine. Yeah, but there were like four of them, and there was yeah. one of us, so. Well, I mean, we're on this path yeah. now. Yeah. I, I guess I, I don't. Again, like, the point of a Cthulhu game is not, you know. Well, that's one of the weird translations of this kind of stuff. Like, I was talking to a friend about this, another friend. Um, you, you have other friends? I know. Well. Where I said that, like, you know, you you don't see those big. Oh my god, so many enemies. Yeah, that's why. Um, this is why we need a gun. Yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Can I? I can't interrupt. Okay, we have a gun. All right. Um, you don't see like uh, all the like they aren't making a lot of video game adaptations of like the popular D and D stuff these days. You know. Right. It's because yeah. like like you don't see, man we we're gonna die from being rocked. Yeah. Right? But your point is, is like maybe we shouldn't have gone in here. Like we don't have a party. We don't have the. Yeah, but there was also I don't think there was a really good. I mean, okay. I mean, there's no way we can survive this. I, I all right. I am curious what their what what it's like when you die and like is it just literally you start over. Oh, is there some yeah, sort of like point. save state kind of situation where it's like okay, you know, because this almost this this is almost going to be like a roguelike, you know, it because it's be, a Cthulhu yeah. game. There are so many ways for you to die that you know, is this just where they expect you to save scum? Oh, I also didn't go into stealth mode. Maybe there was something like, like there's a lot of things we aren't doing. Yeah, yeah, but like yeah, I mean, this is yeah, I think you know a Cthulhu game is probably going to be more like a roguelike, and yeah. so or it should be, you know, because yeah, if it's like if every time you die you have to start over from from scratch, um, and it's literally just figuring out the golden path to get through so that you do not have 
you know, so that, you know, the Dragon's Lair thing of, you know, quick time events of now, now click this, now, you know, now press this, now avoid this. Um, then I'm not going to be happy. You yeah. know, that's, that is not, that's not how gaming should work in, you know, current year given. I, um, I think though, this is the combat I can't really comment on, but like, I'd say this is kind of, oh, well, uh, well bit dark skin man. Uh -oh. my, he tries to in, interception. I've been seeing you the old eel and, and wanted to be president to charm. Uh, who are you? I'm called Eduardo Ado Canala, to be exact. Nothing special, I'm Pella. Just son of a poor fisherman. I continue. Yet I carry the canal name from part of another mind to pass. No? You may be right. I'm very black. What do you want from me? Uh, your lineage does not interest me. I'm, no, I will do, uh, what do you want from me? I have a succession that might be service. Different I'm accustomed to survival in the streets. Continue. I have survived that war. Oh, is there a party member? <laughs> Oh, uh, so you're offering to fight for me? Um, if you pay me, Sigs. Okay. All right. I see how you stare at me. Does it have a price too? Oh. Hello. How much for bodyguard duty? Oh. Uh, five figures answer, of course. How much about your duty? Two dozen Sigs for each day I protect you. Um. So oh. twenty-four. And we have 60 current. We have no, we have 200 now. But we also have speechcraft. You want to try it? Yeah. 26. Uh, deal? Sure. Uh, bien. <laughs> bueno. Oh, so he's not a party member, though. No, he's just going to guard us. I'm listening, senora. Oh, he's got a. Okay. Let's go. So he's not a party member. He's just a retainer of some sort. Mm-hmm. I'm curious how that's gonna yeah. play out. I mean, these room. What is she spinning? A <laughs> warehouse. I I think this game is fascinating. I think that the visual style being lower fidelity fits really well. Yes. No. I I am I am all in on this. This is. Not not a fan of turn-based combat, but uh, again, because in an, an Arkham game or yeah. you know in a in a Cthulhu game, you you don't want a lot of combat. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I don't mind it as much, but I think the the visual style, uh, the fa you know the kind of the, the the craft they've put into making a game. I I all right, Cthulhu games can be extremely um uh what's the word i'm looking for Punishing? uh in intimidating intimidating, intimidating. Yes. like because again like you're not gonna win you're gonna play a game that's gonna be about you seeing how long you can survive for yeah. and i think that what they've done with their you know with their character creation system and uh you know the way that they kind of built this world i think gives you enough hook that you're willing to keep i would say i would be willing to keep going to the well to see yeah. how long i can play for right mm -hmm. um i think that this game looks and oh hold on got a little cine here no no sir i didn't oh geez oh geez Where is your god? Sorry about that. So these gangsters came out and just off that guy. Oh, wow. Well, you don't have to pay him. No, no, not my guy. It's some other guy on the oh, street. Some other guy. Okay, sorry. Yeah. No, that's fine. Like, Don't call from husband. <laughs> Where is your right, god now? We talk to discount Joker. I was going to say Joker. Okay, he won't let us in. Okay. Oh, what can you tell me about this key? Um, 
is the door and runs the antique store. Store progression. All right. So yeah, someone walked out and just shot this man in the street, but this is our antique store. Okay. Antique stores are very important. Yes. In uh, in this in this game. Uh, I had a regular back when I lived in the southern part of the state. I had a regular uh, gaming group, and we would just we would play Arkham Horror, the board game. And these were not people who would mm -hmm. like. These were not people who really, you would think like, oh yeah, this you know like, board game people. Like these were, these were people who did not really do board games, but for like, they they loved Arkham Horror, because it was a cooperative game, and there was just kind of enough weirdness in it. And one of my guys, like, he would always play the character whose special ability was uh, basically antiquing. Because <laughs> he because he ran an antique store. And so his like whole thing was basically, you know, whenever you go for, you know, unique items, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you get to draw two instead of one. And, um, and he would always do very well for himself in that capacity. So... All right, we paid 44 six to unlock the key. He wanted to pay us a thousand for it. Wow. Now I was I, I was kind of thinking like I should have done that to end the video because I'm sure it would be like bad end. You got rich, but yeah. yeah. Okay, so it was it was the bank, mm -hmm. but like I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll go back and see what what happens. Yeah, I mean that that to me is like the okay, you know, something's going on at the bank. Something's always going on at the Bank of Arkham. Do we but... have the heels? No. What? Well, just money? Yep. I don't want to spend a day. I mean, Laudrum gives us... Laudrum is going to be what gives you your sanity back, because that's basically it's, a knockout it's health drug. and sanity. Oh, okay. But yeah, it's a knockout drug, so. All right, so we just got high, but that gives us enough All to right. like get us halfway there. All right, let's do. Let's go to the bank real quick. Yeah, let's see and what it's see like. Let's see how this guy fights we... for us, because like, yeah, if, let's if see we how have this to kill four or five. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, could this be our first party member? There's nothing on those human other eggs. Your kind brought this upon us. Oh yeah, he was on the splash screen for combat. Yeah. First creature. Oh Jesus. Demon! Oh, don't stab! Don't stab! Gonna stab! Get, he's oh. got a stabby knife. Do we have a cult? The angry, angry mob with lunch want, want a wretched creature you can hardly describe as human. The creature's face hammer. We have to do a cult, right? Oh yeah. This depends on the side of true sorcery. Um, yes, let them with the true power of the arcane. We are a bad influence. That is true. Black magic. He'll turn us to stone. Yeah. Yes, turn them to stone. Well, I already like the fact that they can just give me options to like use my skills. I always yeah. like having options to go, this is my character. Of course, I'm going to pick choices that reflect what my character can do. Yeah, right. Uh... Why? What answer? Uh, I just wanted to. It, this is gonna be. We're half? not going to. Uh, I love this too. I want to help. I want to help lie. Uh, <laughs> you I want to help mysteries lie. I can that I cannot simply let go. We let go. All right. That that's a that's a poetic. I'm a curse. A poetic answer. You don't have to walk alone. You know. Yeah. All right. I'm incapable of helping my own self, stranger. Must let others. Such a lot's gotta give me. Leave me. Alone. What man? The man, the man in black with no face. The man with Kelsey Cup. I am. You mean the dismal man, or I'm also looking for that man? Or this is gonna be interesting. Uh, that's. I'm also looking for that man. You then you are doomed as I am, stranger. In my bones, and no, no good would ever come from finding him. I have no choice. Perhaps we live for the man together. Yay! Man. Okay. Yay! So we definitely, um, we definitely have 
a unique uh sorry, followers are actually am, unique. oh and now comes somebody too that's our that's our that's our bodyguard that's our, that's our bodyguard he's like ah oh. okay you want me to kill that guy no he's with us <laughs> You sure you don't oh, want to kill him? Oh wow, look at the hands of shame. I love that. Oh, I love it. Shattered mirror. I this game is so I we might have to like when is uh when is uh extra, extra life? life? Yeah. Uh early November. Oh no. I might not be around for it. Because we're playing Dread uh Railguard. Well there's there's that, but also I have a uh, a con that I'm gonna be at. Oh, there's it's literally, I have to leave for a con the night Dread or Vilgar oh, comes right, out. Yeah. So I am very, very salty about that. Uh, I'm going to be taking an extra day uh, when I get back. Yeah. Just so I can. I just, uh, what do you want from me? But uh... yeah, I, I would, I would say like, I wonder how long they say this game takes to complete and i would almost say like if i'm gonna be around for we should give it a go yeah. uh yeah i just want to get in the combat before we wrap up because i know we're on a timer now but like i just want to yeah i just want to see like what is combat like with like it, am i going to make progress now that like because they should have locked me out of the bank if i was gonna get ripped yeah. up that bad by it that well yeah okay so like we need different cutscene. oh hi oh she all right, that's one way to deal with them. Okay. Yeah, I think we should not have gone to the bank. <laughs> but I'm so fascinated by like the angst leveling. Like that's something you rarely see. Yeah. And yeah. I I'm like that's a good mechanic. Like allow your care to be crafted by the negative experience and not just reward. Like I don't want to say reward, but like the game recognizes success, experience. The, right. The, 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 the game recognizes struggle or angst with experience. Mm -hmm. I, I like that. Um, mm -hmm. Versus it just being like, well, you do, the, you do the thing that gives you the most experience. Like, no, both yeah. ways can lead to something interesting. Yeah, well, that's, again, that's like, it's it's subverting this concept of, you know, the the power fantasy, yeah. and, you know, which is the whole point of Cthulhu is, yeah, you're not going to be the powerful person who saves the day. You're going to be, you know, freaking out, afraid you know in over your head mm -hmm. and then eventually you're going to die yeah and that is something that you know um is is a hard sell for people but i think absolutely that this game has the kind of spit and polish on it that i i feel like does a good job of saying you know hey hey they're all doing wanna, waltz of madness. You wanna you wanna play you wanna play a game that is you know really punishing and weird and you know you're gonna get your enjoyment from it other than just having a power fantasy. Yeah. I wouldn't mind being able to put the combat on fast forward. Oh man, these these ones hit yeah. hard. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, but the outliner doesn't lose much time. All right, so what can I do? I can hit. And that's all I have on. Okay, well, we'll hit. Yes. And we'll hit. And then that's our turn. Uh, defend for the last point. All right, you have bullets. Hi. Oh, okay, the I grid cast, is green, yellow, bullet. orange. <laughs> Looting combat. No, thank you. And I don't have an AP, so I'll defend. Low. We are not a good good shot. <laughs> Okay, well, new turn begins. Yeah. So our our character is not a good combatter. No, she's an old lady. I know, I know. <laughs> like, <laughs> we hired, I hired you to take care of this for me, Jeffrey. I forget his name. Uh, uh, Rodrigo. I'm just gonna call him Jeffrey. Oh yeah, Rodrigo. I hired you to do a job. Why aren't you doing it? 
So the question comes to me then is like, if there is a combat like once per quest, fine. But if I have to go from combat to combat to combat to combat, to combat this would get too much. That that that's that is my concern. Is and I think it's kind of you get into that like thing of like, well, we built a combat system, so we need to use it. Right. And don't build a combat system. This is you know like this is this is Cthulhu. This should you know again like it's like blades in the dark, you know. Yeah. Um, and, and this is one of those things where like when I'm like teaching blade that's what i'll be doing at the at the con is teaching people to play blades of the dark um blades of the dark is very much like okay you're going to be playing scoundrels you're playing a crew of people yeah and you know one of the crew sheets you can use is basically just a gang of street thugs you know people who go and just you know beat up and extort and you know you, you can play assassins, you can play, you know, literally professional killers. But ultimately, the idea is like if you are in combat with somebody who is with somebody that is not human. Yeah, it's going to go very badly for you, you know, <laughs> like and, you know, even if you even if you survive it, you'll you'll probably go insane. And because yeah, the whole yeah. idea is like it's a heist game, and yeah, in a heist, like proper heists, you don't want to leave a footprint. You know, like you don't want to get tangled. Like if you're if you get into a fight in the middle of a heist, things are going very badly for you. Yeah. You know. Um. And and I think that's kind of like for me. I, it's it's hard to explain to people, especially people who, you know, are used to Dungeons and Dragons and the idea is like, well, that's, you know, but fighting is how you get your experience. And it's like, well, you know, <laughs> you should be able to have other ways, you know, ways mm -hmm. to level. And, um, oh, did you see this here? Mm, progression escape. It's a, it's not about winning, but enduring. Once you do enough damage, you can just end early and you get the same amount of experience. Ah, okay. That's good. I mean, I don't have a clear path, unfortunately, but... Yeah. That is fascinating. Yeah. So I can go here. This... Oh. Wait, what? Do I have to do every single character? I guess so. Well, we're going to get ripped up by this. Yeah. We cannot take these people on by ourselves, so. No. I'm liberating you. Oh, she fought the other person. All right. I'm good with that. Yeah, let them fight. All right. So now we have progression escaped. Yes. Okay. All right. So I am still curious how the, how it will yeah. handle death, but yeah, I mean, again, turn based combat is the least interesting combat for me. Um, yeah. And you know, again, like in a game like Cthulhu, where you know, getting into combat is usually a good way to die. Um, I get it. Like you have to have a combat mechanic. Mm -hmm. And I guess, you know, if you're going to have, like, if you have to slap in a combat system, you, it might as well be turn-based, you know? Like, don't don't yeah. spend your precious resources building a elaborate real-time combat system. Um, but, Was there... Yeah. Um, I don't remember. Was there a difficulty setting at the start? Because, like, I feel I'm like there was. And I'm I think tired. part of it is... Yeah. I would, I'll be like, just give it to me, you know. Yeah. Just, just put it on auto win and let me move forward. Because, like, the combat was not a high point. I'm yeah. not saying it's bad. It's just, like, I would get bored. I don't want to do it a bunch. So, like. Yeah. That 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 would be where I would probably bounce out of the game as well. Um, You know. I'll have a mental condition now. Ah, oh, sweet. Okay, I'm not going to do I that. I mean, how much Disco Elysium is this giving you? I would say it's about a medium amount of it. Like, Disco Elysium was not combat-based. There was no combat, right. really, in Disco Elysium. But, like, 
a bunch of weirdos in a weird town doing weird stuff, I'm all here for. <laughs> uh, it just depends on, like, artifacts. Oh, okay. And we could decipher them. Manager's note three. So in our inventory, oh, this was, where was artifacts? We don't have any? Dan fourth compass. Oh, it does something. Oh, we should probably put this on. Uh, But yeah, I'd be curious to see how, how this goes. Yeah, uh, how long this game takes to finish, mm -hmm. and I would like shortlist that for extra life. Yeah. Um, how do we open it? Is there a skill check? Oh, look at. Oh. Yes. All right. Ah, uh, this has been st uh, Stygian. 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 I mean, I don't know if it's a soft G or a hard G. Yeah, I'm um, gonna just, I saved. So I wanna say like, create new character. Was there a place in here? I feel like that was the age part. Or difficulty? I think so. Two less skill points. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. One firearms with 50 angst. <laughs> yes. Okay. I don't see a difficulty here. Um, okay. There was no difficulty there. So. All right. Um, so that's unfortunate, settings. but. Yeah. Because like, this is the thing. Like, we were to do this for extra life. Mm -hmm. I would want to find a mod or something that just like makes the combat like no lose because like we don't have time to like yeah. struggle right. through combat. We want to do right. the Right, we don't have time yeah. to yeah, escape scum. Exactly. This is pretty cool. Stygian. Yeah. Stygian. 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 The deep ones. Cheers. Cheers.